Hello. How's everyone doing today? I'm just gonna stand here and wait a couple seconds, wait for people to join. Hopefully I'm live. <laughs> it's always the question. Um, happy Memorial Day weekend to everybody. Hope everyone is hanging in there. I know the weather isn't the greatest today, but I think that from what I understand, the rest of the weekend is gonna look pretty nice, hopefully. I'll just wait a couple more seconds for some more people to join. Hi, Liza. <laughs> Happy Memorial Day weekend, Tina. Thank you for joining. All right. So I am at 7 Sherry Ann Drive in Lumberton, New Jersey. I am in Burlington County and I am coming to you from a beautiful four bedroom um, colonial and I will start outside but I just wanted to say hello on the inside first before heading out into the rain. Hi everybody, Jill, happy Memorial Day weekend. You too, Kathy. Thank you everybody for joining me. I really appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to start outside. Um, again, I'm at 7 Sherry Ann Drive in Lumberton. And let me just quickly put on my rain jacket and I'll be right back. Sorry. All right. So let's head outside. And then we will come back inside and I will show you the rest of the house. Just putting on my shoes. It's still raining. All right, so here's a shot of the exterior of the home. Again, I'm going to keep reminding you of the address, 7 Sherry Ann Drive in Lumberton. We're in the desirable country village neighborhood. It's a very quiet neighborhood. Uh, it's not a cut through street by any means. Two car garage. Let me move to the other side so you can see a better view around this tree. This home has great curb appeal. There you go. Yes, Julie, isn't that porch great? Nice covered porch. Great for a day today, like today. You can sit out there. I think we have some people driving by checking out the house. Hi, Joe. Yes, very nice porch. Oh, everyone loves it. Thank you, Patty. All right, let me give you a shot of the street here just so you can see um, what the street looks like. Again, not a cut through street. Yes, it is completely fenced in. And yes, and it's a big front yard. Hi, Kathy. Yes, beautiful front yard. Um, right around the corner from here is a park as well that you can walk to. Um, has a ton of soccer fields. There's a football field. It's a really nice park. All right, so let's head inside. I know, I love the front porch too. Some nice rocking chairs out here, something to sit on. It's just really peaceful, very quiet around here too. All right, so we're gonna walk in the front door. And again, this is a colonial. So you're gonna have, as we walk in, we have, this could be a formal living room area, an office, in this case, they're kind of using it as a playroom area, um, but it has a view of the front yard here with great big windows that do let a lot of light in. Unfortunately, it's raining. 
Yes, you're right, Liza. This house does get a ton of sun on nice days. Hi, Jenny. I know, I love the porch too. Everyone's still complimenting that porch. <gasps> hey, Ariel, your friend lives here? Does she like, I, well, you said she loves it. So one thing I wanna mention is we're really close to McGuire Air Force Base, and that's actually what um, attracted this particular, the homeowner that lives here now. He is in the Air Force, he was in the Air Force, and that's why he ultimately, when I sold him this home, looked in this area. So it's really close to there. Here's your dining room. And they added recently the shiplap walls, which look really nice. I love that look. You do have a nice big window in your dining room as well. And the dining room windows look out to the porch. All right, and yes, Julie, I agree with you. Like this is like one of those spaces that I think changes as your, you know, family changes. And in this case, they're just using it as a playroom area. However, I think in most cases, people would use it as like a formal living room area, or you could block it off and um, put doors here and make it an office. You do have a coat closet as you walk into the house. Yes, that wall is great, isn't it guys? All right, so as you walk in further into the home, there is a half bath downstairs, which they have recently redone. Shot of the mirror, the sink. I love the shelves in here. And that noise you hear is the exhaust fan. And the floors are great in here. Look at these floors. How beautiful are these floors? Gorgeous. Okay, shut the door here. Okay, I keep walking. There's the kitchen. Before I go to the kitchen, I'm going to show you the family room. Here is your family room. And this is what they're using as their TV room. It's a large room, nice slider off to the backyard. Plenty of room in here, very cozy. And I wanna mention that the home, the whole home was recently painted. Um, every room except for I believe the laundry room and one of the bedrooms, but the entire home was just repainted with neutral colors and it looks great. Hi, Sara. I love the sliding glass doors too. Thanks for joining me guys. There's so many of you on right now. I feel so loved. All right, so here's a shot of the kitchen. They recently redid the cabinets in a beautiful gray color. Um, it looks really, really nice. I think, you know, many people love the white kitchen look, but as I show homes, I've noticed that these gray cabinets are really starting to pop up everywhere. Nice um, kitchen sink with the window over the sink, looking out to the backyard. Nice windows in here as well. Hi, Joy. Yeah, the kitchen's great. Nice big kitchen, Eden kitchen, obviously. There's a large table in here. Um, at one point, I believe they had an island in here as well, like one of those that you can move in and out. Um, so there's plenty of space if you wanted to add a permanent island as well. Um, I know, I love the gray cabinets too. Um, over here is the basement, which we will go to eventually, but I just wanna show you that it is off of the, the um, kitchen. Yes, Jill, the hardware is recently upgraded. So off the kitchen here, I wanna show you this. This is their pantry. This pantry is huge. 
Um, it is Edgar and Robin. It is a gas range. Thank you for asking that, which I know most people do prefer the gas ranges. Um, look at this pantry. This pantry is huge. It's, you know, has plenty of uh, shelves in here to hold so much. Um, they're so organized too. But plenty of room for all the food. Yeah, great pantry, guys. Really nice pantry. And again, that's off the kitchen. And then it is into the laundry room as well. So over here is your large laundry room with your sink as well. The laundry room does have its own door out to the backyard, which is really nice. So if you have muddy kids, muddy pets, they can come in here um, before dirtying up the rest of the home. Yeah, the pantry really is great. And yes, the washer and dryer on the first floor is really nice, especially having it right off of the kitchen. You know, sometimes when we're multitasking, cooking dinner, doing some laundry, it's nice to just have it in a central location. Oh, let me grab some of this real quick. So I'm gonna head out to the garage, which is um, off the kitchen as well. Really big garage, two car garage, but it's just, I feel like it's just bigger than normal two car garages. Um, one thing I wanna mention about the garage was they recently insulated it, painted it, and there is a ceiling mounted electric heater right here. So if you have someone who loves to work on cars or, you know, loves to be out in the garage, this is the garage for them. So they are getting ready to move. So there's some, you know, that's what all the boxes are for right now, obviously. <laughs> there is some storage up there as well. Agree, Ariel. Honestly, you don't find large laundry rooms or pantries in a lot of homes. This home has plenty of space. So nice two car garage. And if there's anything you wanna see more of, just let me know. I can revisit an area. If I'm moving too quickly, let me know. If I'm moving too slowly, like someone mentioned to me last time, not going to name any names again. <clears throat> uh, sister, I will uh, move quicker. The square footage is just under 2,200 square feet. All right, so we are going to head upstairs to the four bedrooms. It is carpeted up here, very plush carpeting. It feels nice, you know, especially when you're waking up in the morning. It's nice to walk on carpet rather than cold hardwood floors. Um. <laughs> oh, Joe, you're funny. I'll gladly do a tour of your house. Even if you don't want to sell it, I'll still do a tour. I'll show you the kids' rooms, Ellie. Don't worry. All right. So here is, this is their guest bedroom. I'll give you a view of the closet. Really nice size closets. And here is another shot of the bedroom. Really large room sizes. This I believe is the smallest bedroom. So if you need an office, guest room, if you have a lot of kids, there's plenty of space. Another closet. Oh, the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> The hallway is really big up here too, because so as you come up from the stairs, there's this really nice feature here. Just, you know, you can utilize the wall there. Here is the full bath upstairs, the hallway bath, double sink. This was all recently redone. 
Again, these gorgeous floors that are in the powder room downstairs are in the bathroom upstairs as well. There's just windows everywhere in this house. I love it. Nice big linen closet in the bathroom. <laughs> Kathy, I, I'm sure if they're willing to leave it behind, they might leave that Charlie Brown Christmas tree behind. Isn't it cute? And then I'm going to give you a nice shot of the bathroom, the bathtub, which you know is so important with having kids that you need that bathtub. Agree, Jill. I love all the storage in this home, too. Plenty of it. Wait till you see the basement. Honestly, this basement is huge. It has so much storage down there. It's crazy. It's a good thing. All right. And then here is their little girl's room. And her cute little closet. Again, plenty of space in that closet. Nice view of the backyard from this room. All right, and then we're going to head into the master. So another room with tons of windows. Here's your walk-in closet. Really, really big on this side as well. <laughs> Attic storage up there. And then here's a shot of the, the bedroom again. There are four bedrooms. And then we're gonna walk into the master's bathroom, master bathroom. There's a stand-up shower in here. Agree, the closet is great and the many different levels make it, it's easy to be organized. I guess easier said than done though. And then this feature, the seller actually made this himself. How nice is this shelf in the master bath? It's beautiful and that will be staying with the home. And this bathroom is really big. And again, tons of light in this room. It's a very cheerful home. All right, so let's go head to the basement. And after the basement, I will show you the backyard. The backyard's really nice too, so. Make sure you check that out. All right, so again, we're in the kitchen and we are heading to the basement. Oh, I'm glad Ellie likes it. Tell Ellie I'm so glad she could join. All right, so here we are heading into the basement. So the basement is Pretty much, it's a finish, like a partially finished basement. The only thing is the ceilings are still exposed. The ceilings are super high down here. So you could easily finish that off and still have tons of room to walk down here. Um, but the walls are up. You have a lot of windows down here as well. They have it set up as like just a little TV area can hang out down here if you have teenagers they can just bring their friends down here and great use of space so coming around here this is pretty much what they're using for storage so talk about storage this there's plenty of it here okay so just another shot coming down the steps on this side we're gonna walk around. 
tons of storage. But it doesn't end there. Come back over here. And there's more storage. And then come over here. And there's more storage. There's just so much of it here. It's great. <laughs> Julie, she can definitely join the KRT Kids team. All right, so the moral of the story here, guys, is that this house has a lot of storage space. All right, so let's head. <laughs> There's so much room for activities. Best line. All right, so let me just grab my shoes and I'm going to head out back. Don't mind me, I just didn't want to bring since it's raining all the water in. <laughs> yeah, Joy, it really is a huge home. All right, so entering the backyard. This beautiful yard. It is big, big and quiet and private. There's a garden over there in that back corner. Not sure if you can see it. It's just so peaceful. Yes, the yard is fully fenced in. So the people who live here now actually have two large dogs. Yeah, I love that there's a shed too. There's a nice patio right here, large patio. Here's a shot of the back of the home. Doesn't the siding look really nice too? There's a horseshoe pit over on this side too. I'm not sure if you can see it. I don't really want to walk back any further just because it is raining and I don't want to track mud into the home, but there is a horseshoe pit over there. And yes, it is fully fenced in. Yes, plenty of room for a volleyball net. And yeah, a great place to host a barbecue. I wonder if they're gonna do that this weekend for Memorial Day. Well, I guess not, but maybe just host it for themselves, maybe. Who knows? Another shot of the backyard. But there, I do know that their two dogs really love having this space. Okay, let me head back inside. So before I start wrapping this up, is there any, any questions anyone might have? Is there an area that anyone wants me to revisit? Other than that, I'm pretty sure I got the whole home. Again, 7 Sherry Ann Drive in Lumberton. I'll go back to the front porch since everyone seemed to love that. Um, we're really close to Mount Holly. We are close to Mount Laurel. And again, we're close to McGuire Air Force Base. Um, the square footage is just under 2,200 square feet. And the taxes are 7,400. Um, because we are in Burlington County, the taxes are always a little bit cheaper than what we're used to in Camden County, which is really great. So I really appreciate everyone joining me. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, my cell phone is 856-905-5862. And um, yeah, it's definitely a beautiful home. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. And yes, Sara, the schools are wonderful here. Sara would know, she's a teacher. And I um, hope everyone has a really nice weekend. 
but that's it for now. So thanks again, guys.